Hello, my name is Francis Omanefe. Welcome to my online class. We'll be collecting data and running it on Azure. So, listen attentively and follow the process. So, this is where my file is. We have our two files I want to collect, merge them together to form a 3D. We have P1, P2, and P3. Now this is the code you write where this is our description line one is our description this is our description of the total number of five to collate here it's saying three then um five one parameters of five one the name of five one So this is the location where our find one is. I will just change that because I changed the location. So to edit the location, you click on your P1, you click on properties. This is the location. Click select your location. Copy. Come to your next part. You paste. Then you add this defining with the forward slash. Forward slash P1. P1. Dot P1 and the file type is the PAT. Um, since it's the same location where my P1, P2, P3 is, I just copy P1, go to file location for P2. So this is p2 dot then your file location for p3 so this is p3 dot then your output location i want it to be outputted to the same folder and this time I'll call it combine dot when you are done you click save and you save now the only software that recognizes this collate notepad for now is your rest to the inversion so let's run it first So you go to your file. You see an option where they say collect data into REST 3D format. So let's look for our, our folder where our file was saved for saving collects from their collects. So it said reading data, reading of data file completed. We just read one. So let's wait to finish reading. We just read two. And just read the third one. Oh, okay. So this is the message that number of five read is three. The total number of data point um, data data point is one eighty seven, and everything is well. The file is saved at the same location as this. So you click OK. You click OK. 
So that will be all with our uh, studio inversion. You close it. Uh, so let's work with Zord. Or you go to your rs 3D inversion to run it as a 3D file. So let's go to our Zoid. So this is our, our Zoid. You click on file. So you can create file. Open file, rather. So you change to the rest 3d inversion file but that's all we have you click on your file so this is our line one so let's add a line one line one right click you add a line two Add in line three. Click this. Let's go back to line one. I didn't click on that um, um icon that's why I'm doing this. This icon, make it active. So when you're done, you'll see the nest so you actively have one, two, and three. You go to your nest. This is the grid of your field. Let's leave everything at default and click apply. Click no. So you have one, uh, line one, P2, and P3. You have up to seven levels here. So everything has been, um, has been done properly. So let's run our inversion with this start inversion. So you wait for it to read 19%. Okay, so we are done. You right click on it to smooth it if you want. You can view. We wanna know your left to right, up to down. We wanna know your view this way. We wanna view as home map. So this is a different way to view your files. This is your opacity versus parameter. When you are comfortable with this, you click OK. If you don't like the way here is, you can also smooth this data by going to option. Model and smooth session. Okay, so here is smooth. So this is it. This is your observed apparent activity, your dead apparent activity. 
this is your surface. Thank you for watching.